example 5 this example give us the frequency distribution table so this table shows the marks obtained by 30 students in mathematics quiz so we want to find the mean mode median first and the third quartile and then interquartile range and the last is 60th percentile given to us this frequency distribution table so the marks represent for x and then number of student is f frequency we want to find the mean so mean x bar equals to summation of fx divided by summation of f total frequency so we have to multiply each x with f and then plus all the data so to find the mean equals to 2 times 2 plus 3 times 4 plus 4 times 3 plus 5 times 6 plus 6 times 4 until the last one Ten times one equals to ten, and then divide by the total frequency is thirty. So calculate. So this mean we get five point six. Okay. So now for the mode, we want to find the mode. Mode is the highest frequency. So, look at, at the row of the frequency, number of students. So, the highest frequency is 6. So, our mode is 5. Okay, so look at, at our frequency distribution table. To find the mean, quartile and the percentile, it more easier if we add a row here. So, this row... We will try to find the cumulative frequency. Num here the number of students is our F frequency. To find the cumulative frequency, so this is 2 and then 2 plus 4 equals to 6. And then 6 plus 3, 9. So this one, 15, 19, 24. 28, 29, and then 30. So, this total must be equal to number of N, 30. So, we want to find the median. So, median Q2 R equals to 2 over 4 times N 30 equals to 50th observation. So, our Q2. So, the R number of observation, we get an integer. So, Q2 1 over 2 multiply with 50th observation. Plus with 60th observation. Our 50th observation, uh, we look at, at the cumulative frequency, capital F. So, the value for X is 5. So, 1 over 2 times 5 plus with. So, the 60th observation is include into here 19 which is inside 19 so the 60th observation is equals to 6 therefore our q2 equals to 5.5 the first quartile q1 R equals to 1 over 4 times 30. So, equals to 7.5 observation. 
again. So the number of observation is not an integer. So our Q1 must be round up to 8 observation. So 8 observation refer to cumulative frequency. So 8 observation is inside here, inside 9. Inside 9, so the Q1 is equals to, look at, at the value for X, so equals to 4. Next is we want to find the third quartile. So the third quartile Q3. So R observation 3 over 4 times N, 30 equals to 22.5 observation. So the number of observation is not an integer. So Q3 must be round up to 23rd observation. So referring to the row of cumulative frequency, so 30, 23rd is inside 24, so the value for x is 7. So third quartile is equals to 7. Now we want to find the interquartile range. Interquartile range is Q3 minus with Q1. So our value for Q3 is 7 and then Q1 as previous is equals to 4. So the interquartile range is equals to 3. For 60th percentile, P60, so R observation 60 over 100 times 30 equals to 80. So 80th observation. Eightieth observation is an integer, so P60 equals to 1 over 2. Eightieth observation plus with ninetieth observation. Again, referring to the column, sorry, to the row of Cumulative frequency. So the 80th percent and uh, the 80th observation is inside here, inside 19. So the value if the value is 6. And the 90th observation is also inside here. So the value of x is 6. Therefore, the 60th percentile is equals to 6.